This is an Ellis Mowers and More small engine vlog. Stay connected on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers and More. Comments or questions? Leave them below or email me, ellis at ellismowers.com. And as always, like and subscribe for more small engine content. On today's vlog, we're going to look at a potential trade deal here uh, for this Craftsman garden tractor that you just saw me finish up here on the channel in the previous video. Uh, I will let y'all see what it is, but it is going to be something really, really cool. As a refresher, this, I've had this maybe about a year and a half, finally dug it out of its place in the yard to get back going again because it was too nice not to mess with and I needed to just refresh it so I painted the deck a little bit I had to put a primary deck belt on it clean the carburetor I did new fuel lines and tank grommet cleaned out the fuel tank and I had to fix an oil leak from the um, what does that be the I can't even think of it right now the oil drain <laughs> crazy um, and I also swapped the ignition switch from a plastic one to a metal one, and it works a whole lot better now. So, granted, given all of this, it looks to be in really good condition. I gave it a good cleaning, cleaned the headlight lens and everything out. And what I did, it's end of December essentially right now, almost New Year's. Listed it for $800. I've had a couple of hits, but didn't really want to budge on the price very much at this point just because of the condition that this is in and how nice uh, it is and how highly sought after these are by um, some people I would love to keep it but I can't justify it and so I want to pass it on to somebody who hopefully will appreciate it as much as I have and I believe that this person will and You'll probably see that this person will based on the trade that's going to be coming in here in the next clip, hopefully, uh, tomorrow morning. So let's see what we got. Here it is. The trade ended up going through. He got the Craftsman Garden Tractor. I had it listed for $800, and he gave me $400 in this. Now, I don't know if this is a good trade or not, but I can tell that it has been maintained and kept in fairly good stores just depending on or just because of the condition that it's in there's not a lot of rust on it but this is an international cub cadet 70 mower really i mean it's fairly old it's somewhere i don't know he said 1961 i don't know if it's quite that old but Definitely sometime in the 60s. I know that there are some people out there that are watching this video will know exactly when this was made. I'll do some digging around see if I can find it myself. It has the four speed, uh, three speed rear end? Three speed rear end on it. I don't think it's a high low. From what I can tell, I don't think it's a high low. But got the Kohler it's got a seven horsepower Kohler on it the biggest thing about this was I made sure I asked him I said this is a complete mower right like everything's complete on it he said yes and I mean it is I mean I have everything right here uh, from the guy and another big plus is I have the mower deck for it so I don't know exactly how big this deck is it appears to be a three blade deck maybe like a 44 inch or a 46 inch uh, or maybe a 42 I'm not completely sure it may only have two spindles and then you have your main drive spindle right there he said that these were a little bit um, tight now let's see now Got a little bit of tightness in there. Oh wow, look at this. I've never seen this before. Look at how small them outside blades are. That is so cool.
That is so cool. But everything's turning on it, so it is, they, like I said, it is a little bit difficult to turn. But again, if these haven't moved in a while, then maybe they just need to have a little bit of... Just turning time with them. Man, I don't know where I'm going to find a belt for it, but we'll make sure that this deck actually works. And then we'll probably just go to the store and see if we can match up a belt with this thing so this is a shaft drive rear uh is it a i don't know if it's a rear pto i don't think it is but the pto for the blades is right here in the front i think you can put like some attachments and stuff on the back if you want to not fully sure about this model there's a lot that i need to learn on it however like i said seven horsepower kohler does not have a regular starter. It's got a starter generator like a golf cart, so that's kind of cool. And I'll open the hood for y'all so that you can look inside here. It's got really good patina on it. I really, have, you know, it's a great candidate for restoration. Great candidate for restoration. I'm probably not going to restore it myself. I kind of like the old patina look on it because it has aged fairly well. So, he actually took this to a dealership probably over an hour from his house trying to get things fixed and stuff on it. He had it running and driving, but then he said something along the lines of it stopped moving. So, I don't know if like anything, I just, I don't think anything in this transmission would go out. Uh, but I could be, I mean... Could be wrong. This looks like this is the PTO engagement here. So, how about that? So, maybe a manual PTO. It is a manual PTO. So, maybe less issues because of that. But he said some sort of bolt came out of it up here somewhere. So, I don't know. But there ain't much to it. Um, really isn't much to it. Looks like they tried a new plug. He thought that the points were gone on it. Or needed new points but it is a fuel related issue and the battery is from this year too so and it's a uh, just a small 160 but it does the job of cranking it over you can see I mean it's been kept out of the weather I'm gonna keep it out of the weather too while it's here um, I'm gonna tr get it back into hopefully a running and driving and cutting state it's not too far gone by any means so here I've got some different, I've got the hood grill attachments here with the bolts, the belt that went for the PTO, I guess they call that the mule belt, whenever it goes around the front there. And it's just got carb issues, and I can show you that. Switch is on. We'll push it. So it kicks right over whenever I spray carb spray in it. So I'm wondering if it's just got some water in the bowl or some gunk in the bowl that we need to sort out. Once I get it running though, which will be in a whole other video because this, I can't do that all in one video. I just wanted to show y'all what I got here because of just this being such a cool find that you don't see much anymore. Um, once I get it running, driving, and cutting, I know somebody's going to appreciate this. Like I said, it's not too far gone. I've got everything that I need in order to hook it all back up from what I can, excuse me, from what I can tell. And we'll just go to town on it in another video just to see what we can do with this awesome Cub Cadet 70 mower. So let me know what y'all think uh, about the trade. I don't, it was hard for me to gauge the value of them Craftsman Garden tractors around here. And I know the older ones won't quite sell as for as much money as the newer ones. I thought I was a little optimistic on that one listing it for $800 because you got to find the right person who knows what it is. This guy needed a garden tractor for uh, work, cutting areas where he didn't want 
uh, to cut with a zero turn. I think that that's going to fit the bill really well for him. Um, and should give him plenty of years of service out of it. I mean, that thing was in great shape. Um, I just don't know if I undervalued it, overvalued it. I feel like I had it in the right spot. And because uh, I had a couple inquiries on it, but um, he was the first one to bite. And this time of year, when it's uh, pretty much the dead of winter, any sort of sale is good. And I figured that since I only had maybe $150 in the machine, having $400 in the pocket, and potentially being able to get this back going again and sometimes you can you can do your research yourself on marketplace or ebay or stuff but some of these restored guys had them listed for like 13 to 1500 dollars there was one that was in about this condition right here listed for 800 dollars somewhere in ohio but none of them have the mower deck so that's a big plus in my opinion and we'll see uh, if that yields any sort of um, results when it comes to after I get this thing running and hopefully driving back again the biggest concern that I have now is because he said it stopped he said it potentially needs a clutch and it stopped moving that it may be a little bit of a rebuild on that and but I mean these transmissions I couldn't imagine that the transmission's gone out in it, don't you think? I mean, when I put it in gear, I can feel stuff engaging, so. Um, you know, I don't know if something has broken the transmission or what, but we'll definitely give it a look. Hopefully this is on the short list to get fixed, although I've got a lot of other machines here that I really want to get ready for spring, so this may be kind of a, a little bit later on project if I build up a lot more inventory of riders. Still got four more here that I've already gotten fixed after that Craftsman GT, so... Uh, we've got good inventory right now, and uh, we'll get more ready for the spring, which is looking like it's going to be a really good year. I really do appreciate all the support. I just wanted to make this video just to show you all uh, that trade deal with that Craftsman Garden tractor. I do love trades. I don't need any more machines. This one seemed like it may be a good opportunity and something that I should at least get my money back out of because, you know, I have it listed for 800 People are going to try and knock off up to $100. So I figured that even in this state, I could probably get three to $400, especially if I can get it running. Uh, and, you know, you just got to find the right buyer for it. Let me know how you think I did. If you think this was a bad trade, then let me know. If you think this was a good trade, you can let me know that as well. Thanks again for watching this vlog. A lot more content to come here January and February. Y'all have been loving it, and I appreciate all the support as always. I'll catch you on the next video.